right, hello and welcome back everybody for this third and final part in the series titled Traxxas Wide Max HD, meaning heavy duty. We know it's strong, but can it backflip a bobcat? In the name of science, I decided to go down this path of making the most indestructible max that I could find. Um, and at this point, we're analyzing now the performance characteristics after we made some changes. So if you saw parts one and two, you know that the max has taken its share of punishment. And because it attracts a crowd everywhere that it goes, it's also dealt out a little bit of punishment. Being so heavy, there's a weight penalty to play which results in some destructive forces once the vehicle is in motion. It took out both front and rear displays of my action camera. It kneecapped a random skater and scared everybody within 10 feet. It crashed into my son three times on his birthday. All good, man. However, the HD body also has some limitations of its own. One of the first mods that I recommend everybody make is you cut out this notch in the back of the bumper because it makes contact with the, the mounting bolts. So what will happen is these will make contact with those bumper mounts and it will start to flex and bend and eventually crack and result in the same cracking here that you saw in the stock body. I tried to take some drywall tape and shoe goo and, and repair this to prolong it, but the bottom line is I'll be ordering a new one of these. So we also broke an axle, two fans, a light bar, a bumper, and a couple skid plates, and so on. So, you know, not a big deal, right? These parts are fairly inexpensive. So, you know, we're trying to maintain the utmost endurability while maintaining an only upgrade when necessary policy because of the weight penalty. And so by adding weight, you're probably asking, well, what are you sacrificing? Can it do a tree flip? Can it backflip a bobcat? So we know that the Traxxas heavy duty body is stronger. It's still not strong enough at the rear corners. And so, you know, what is the next step towards an indestructible body? Well, if you really want indestructibility, you gotta go to communist countries to get illegally licensed stuff. No, you don't. I'd recommend you stick with the good old Made in the USA Traxxas heavy duty body. I'll be ordering another one. And so to close out part three, what do you do next? I say make those mods. I might be adding some steel skid plates up front to replace the plastic ones, but they've lasted this long, so props to Traxxas engineers, you guys have done it again. This is still by far the most durable vehicle I've ever seen. Alright, thanks everybody for watching, take care.